It was my honor to fight alongside you. Too many of them.
Fires pretty much run the lower levels here. This bird into space. Stay in orbit or jump. Your call. Jump complete. Want to do it again just for fun? No? Jump complete.
Wonder no one will work for you. My man is missing, and you're all just here. What? Waiting for him to wander back to me. Oh, uh, hi. We're not exactly open, but did you need something for your ship? Hey, what can I do for you? Sure, I've had it.
escape trajectory plotted.
human of unknown origin detected. Designated outsider. This is an undisclosed secret location. Please identify purpose or depart. Acknowledging receipt of emergency request. Explanation deemed acceptable. Clearance granted to Crucible. Outsider will deliver 150 units of copper. Compensation will be dispensed. Tobias, stand down. We have a visitor. Reminder, deliver required material. End of conversation. This, this is incredible. For so long we hoped for any visit, and the day has finally arrived. I wish it were even better. Your arrival is truly an historic one, but many fear what it portends. The societies have closed their doors and are arguing about what to do, while the rest hide to see which way the wind blows. Franklin would know what to do. He's the oldest among us. You should talk with him. Give it time, and I'm sure the others will come out. For curiosity's sake, if nothing else. When your ship landed, I feared the robots would shoot you on sight. I am greatly relieved that they let you enter our community. But you come during a delicate time. Everyone will seek to use your arrival to further their own ends. Where to begin? Ah, maybe an introduction? I am Franklin Delano Roosevelt, leader of the Pragmatist Society. Well, it is gratifying that even after all these years, my name isn't entirely forgot. You see, I was an American president. Well, not literally, but in a sense I was. Everyone that lives here are clones. Some of us are clones of the greatest figures of history, and others, well, we don't rightly know. When we die, and some of us die quite often, we are brought back. I cannot imagine how strange this must sound to an outsider. Well, to us, it's just the way things are. After decades, centuries, of trying to figure it out ourselves, there is so very much we don't know either. The robots clone us for a reason, their so-called mission. But what that is, and what we should do about it, is something the societies disagree about, sometimes violently. It's best you meet with the other societies, and after, I promise I'll explain the pragmatist's position on matters. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. Word has been sent, so the street should be full again. There is more I would talk with you about, but I would not take advantage of your ignorance. Go speak with the Monirinus and Genghis Khan. I might have some stuff you could use in stock. Welcome to town, stranger. Consider me part of the welcoming committee. The name's Wyatt Earp, and I'd be most pleased if you'd use one of the spare rooms during your stay. For a modest fee, of course. He was, and I try to be. I do the best I can to uphold the law, but the societies make that difficult. I expect I've had as much success restraining Genghis as the Chinese did. I do what I can. Roosevelt and I are both of the same mind on that. <laughs> I can work with that. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. And by the by, I may have access to some essentials I've picked up over the years. Happy to sell them to you. I'm hoping you come back for some repeat business. 
You don't get old on Crucible unless you're smart. FDR is a client. I had hoped you would visit me. Good. Know that you stand before Queen Amani Rines of the Kush. Queen of a dead kingdom on a dead world. But I earned my name. And even the sands of time cannot take it from me. Your courtesy is appreciated, even though it rings hollow. My subjects are all dust. If you don't believe me, know you are not alone. Some clones deride me behind my back. I know this, but I feel in my bones that I am a Manirinas for true. The great and the terrible to those who would oppose me. I remember things no one has told me. Memories of faces, betrayers, lovers, allies, and enemies. And the smells, the right scent, and I close my eyes, and I can picture all of it so vividly. It aches my heart, my home, my kingdom. If your mind and heart remain open, you will see the truth of it. Once, I called upon mighty armies. However, on Crucible I still lead. Have you heard of the Believers? Have you heard of the mission? We are the ones who will take our rightful place in these settled systems to bring in a new glorious age and break the endless cycles of oppression and greed. If we could do it ourselves, we would have years ago. I do not care if you think my plan is insane. But what I want, what we want, is a chance to prove to the facility we are ready. When someone has achieved their potential, the facility is supposed to set us free among the stars. But the machines have been breaking more and more over the years. And no one has ever been deemed worthy. I need your help to properly fix the facility so that we can prove ourselves and claim our birthright. I need you to go to the facility. The robots and what drives them is not here. The facility is where they come from. Somewhere far to the east. None of us can travel there. But you can go there, please. And see if the facility can be repaired. Then report back to me. I need to go out there. I want to see and do everything there is to be done. Your ship? She's a beauty. It travels the stars, right? Tell me, what's it like out there? Ah, that's just how I imagine it. My name's Amelia Earhart. When I first woke up in this place, in my head, I knew all about my namesake her life and her accomplishments. But I also knew how to fly a starship, reactor limits, thrust acceleration vectors and everything. In my mind's eye, I can imagine flying out there, touching heaven itself. And yet, cruelly, here I sit. <laughs> Am I that transparent? Listen, I know you owe me nothing at all, but I would do anything to get off of here. I know the societies want who knows what from you for who knows why, and I don't want to get involved in any politics. I just want, for my single self, a chance to explore. I... you won't regret it, I... thanks. Do you want to talk about anything else? 
I hope to see you again. Stranger! Weapons out! They come! There will be blood! The man from the stars. Come to see me. And you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I guess the world out there is not so different than here. Genghis Khan, a pleasure to meet you. Manners cost me nothing, but make no mistake, I will do whatever it takes to escape this prison. I am pleased that the dangers out here are of no concern to you. You cannot be fully human if you trap yourself behind walls. The robots taught me many things any Mongol would know. So. Hunting game, even such as this, is little challenge to me. So Franklin told you of us, oh, that we're clones? Some of us think that makes us special. That the deeds of our namesakes are somehow ours. But that is blind arrogance. We are just people, same as you. Same as anyone. Perhaps you are right. Certainly, many in Crucible would agree. Ah, but all this talk gets us nowhere. Too many of the others grovel at the feet of the damned robots, trying to play their roles in a broken game. The Renegades will not submit, and one day, we will be free. Were it that easy, I have died a dozen deaths trying to find a way out of Crucible. You get too far or disobey too much, then death. Crucible holds our lives in its hands. But now the robots have made a grave mistake. You, you can go where none of us can. You hold our future in your hands, and all the societies know it. I sense fire in you. Good. You will need it. You know of the facility, yes? Go there, and make the machines let us leave. It is not much to ask and it will set us free. You're the most exciting thing that's happened. Well, ever. So, you have heard from the other societies. I must confess I'm very curious what an outsider thought of them and their positions. You might be the first objectively neutral party we've ever come across. takes more than a great person to achieve great things. Their traits need to match the circumstances. I fear we would be ill-equipped to do anything except so chaos. The facility has gathered some of the most obstinate and dangerous personages throughout history. It has told them that they should lead in a golden age via whatever means they see appropriate. 
setting us all loose and part of as a whole would invite disaster. We are barely fit to lead ourselves. Certainly. It is evident that the facility is decaying. It is both unsustainable and unwise for us to fix and maintain the status quo. Our community must be weaned off the machines, learn how to build, grow, and govern ourselves, allowed to raise families so we can pass our lessons to the next generation, and to die when our allotted time is finished. One day we will be worthy of going to the stars. We are just not there yet. Please, I beg you, listen, look, and think. Who are these people, and what would they do? I hope, for all our sake, you will come to see the light. It's not safe to talk here. It's about Roosevelt. There's something you need to know. They're still missing so many. Thank you. There's a, well, a cave just outside town. No chance of us being listened in on. Please, come as quick as you can. Ideally, before you go to the facility. I'll meet you at the cave. One that will get us killed. You came. I, I just can't take a chance. These clones, they, they're they psychotic, crazy. If they find out, I'm sorry. I, I just can't take the chance. You're just making it worse. I'm not Wyatt Earp. I wish. God, how I wish I was. I was cloned off a monster. America's first Serial killer, H. H. Holmes. It's like a living nightmare. If you go to the facility, I know you'd find out who I am. And if you let any of these bloodthirsty maniacs know, they'd kill me. But no, that wouldn't be the end. Every time my new clone would appear, death, torture, pure hell. I'm afraid it's you or me. I'm going to kill you. I just don't see a way out. Wyatt Earp was a hero. Maybe I can. There's a screwed up honor to Genghis. Me? I'm just a yellow murderer of innocence. I want to believe you. I do. I'm dead or worse either way. I don't want to do this. 
goodbye for both of us. Stars and the vastness of space. <laughs> <laughs> 